it's happening for over maybe a hundred years. This is a marketplace called Smithfield. The first Sunday in every month you have the horse fair. There's trading, swapping, buying and selling. But you very, very rarely see money train changing hands. It's normally a wink or a nod or something like that. They tried to get it moved, but they couldn't possibly succeed because it's too long going on here in this spot. Far too long, so... Stop making faces at me, you, and putting your ears back. I see you. You see her feet? If you can imagine, it's like um, it's like never cutting your toenails, and they grow in and they curl under, and you can imagine the pain of walking on that and all the problems that go with it because it gives them leg problems, isn't that right? Mm -hmm. If their feet are overgrown, they end up with leg problems and back problems and uneven pressure, uneven pressure, you know. tendons and everything. So it, it, the whole thing cause it can cause incredible suffering. We had a farrier up yesterday, and they couldn't do her feet. Much too dangerous. Uh, she was too violent about the whole thing, weren't you, Mrs? This is why it's so important that people who have horses know what they're doing. What you don't want is some 14-year-old, you know, involved in something like this because they'll get killed. I'm not getting the lead. Can I show you the seat? Let me have a bit of Look at that now. You get them shoppers on. Look at that. Look at that. Give him six and that, yo. Actually, it was given to me for seven without that. Here, four of them, that. Four of them. Too many horses in the country now. Nothing been done with them. A lot of the youth now, this is the way, this is what they do. They get into the horses like this. The best of us keeping it going. Horses and a baby, yeah, and I, I took the wrong turn. But now, I'm getting, ever since I get back into the horse, like, I wasn't touching, don't be touching drugs or stuff like that, you know what I mean? This horse was rescued yesterday um, and had to be put to sleep by our vets. Um, nothing that we could do to treat it. And this is the injury. Nobody rang for help. Nobody rang and said, you know, my, my horse has hurt itself, come out and help me. The Dublin SPCA has been lobbying government for years to regulate or to close the market. Um, it's, it's a place where, you know, horses are sold and traded. Um, and many of those horses end up in completely unsuitable environments. Many of them end up with children who don't have the means, the, the finances or the, the locations to keep the animals. And we've seen uh, appalling distress and cruelty and neglect caused to those animals simply because, again, it's totally unregulated. <laughs>